could do it. Just trying to back into this pocket space. That's mine. I showed it out. What? You can't park there. You just It's a public street. It's not a public street. It's a neighborhood street. Either way, it's not your street. No, it's not my street. But it's my parking spot. You can't own a parking spot on a public street. I didn't say I own it. Then why don't you stay get out with this, this junk? For my wife. She needs a place to park. Well, so do I. And you have no right to come in here this space. Of course I do. I shoveled it out. What's that got to do with anything? It, it's like this. A couple of hours ago, this space, right here, was packed with snow. No one could park here. You'd have driven right on by. But I shoveled it out. I made it. I made it a parking spot. And it's mine. And you, you should get back in your car and go find someone else to park. You're claiming this parking spot for the entire winter? Maybe. Well, if you win the stuff melts, it doesn't matter. But when there's snow, we park in front of our home. That's your house? Right there? Yeah, my house. Was my grandfather's and my father's. They staked out pocket spots too. Just like everyone else around here. It's a neighborhood tradition. And obviously you don't come from the neighborhood. So there's someone watching us. Up there, peeking through the curtains. Yeah, that's my grandson. I don't like being watched. Chill out, he's four. He watches everyone. I, I think it's time you got going. What are you doing here, anyway? I live here. Oh, jeez, where? <laughs> Greenhouse, on the corner. Just took a run there. Oh, poor Sal's old place. Figures, you let one home go room and house, and there goes the neighborhood. Hey, I've got as much right to live here as you do. Yeah, you're right, you do. Oh, look, I didn't mean to jump ugly with you. I didn't know we're neighbors. But you gotta learn. This, this neighborhood has its ways. When you shovel out a parking spot, it's yours. And, 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 this, and that's just the way it is. So, I'm Tony, your neighbor. Brad, not that we'll be hanging out together. How long are you gonna be here? Not sure. You work close by? Not working, I just gotta let go. From where? What do you do? What's it to you? Oh, why all the questions? Just, just trying to be neighborly. You, you drive your car around the corner. About a half a block down, there's a small medical center. It's the first place piled out. You can park there, even overnight. What did you say your name is? Tony. Well, listen, Tony, thanks for the tip. But if the medical center is so close and easy, why'd you go through all the trouble of shoveling out this space? My wife. She's got a bum knee. She, in, in winter, she has trouble walking. You're young, you'll be nothing for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? The medical center welcomes me to park there. I've seen the signs. I'll wake up in the morning and my car will be towed, and you'll be laughing. Oh, no. Really, they don't care? I know, they posted no parking signs, but, but a car here or there doesn't bother them. Says you. Well, I don't want to park there. I want to park right here. Brad, I, I don't get you. You, you, you move here, and right away you make a problem. Why? You're the one making the problem. I've earned the right to park wherever I want. You've earned it, huh? How? Oh, so, you're a vet, right? None of your business. Where'd they send you? Afghanistan? Iraq? None of your business. Listen, old man, I don't like your it's questions. It's Tony. I know a lot of soldiers. OK, Tony, well, drive it. I don't need your sympathy. Now, if you don't move these chairs, I'm gonna bust them up and back in over them. Don't, don't let my age fool you. I still got a few good fights left in me. Well, you better have one ready for today. I warned you. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, shit. You want your grandson to watch you get stabbed? You don't keep him out of this. Don't even look up there. If you so much as... There's no one in the window, man. They better not call the police. Or what? You'll kill me? Brad, it doesn't have to go like this. We're neighbors. We're both vets. <laughs> what, like a band of brothers or something? You just stall until the police get here. Oh, you, you, you worried about the police? I'm not worried about anything. The police are looking for you, right? Wrong. Maybe I just don't like the police. Did you hurt someone? What? No. I got fired and I didn't go off. 
My girlfriend kicked me out and I didn't go off, but now... Breathe in. Let the breath push your stomach out like this. And then let it out real slowly. Oh, no, you're some kind of Buddhist. You just <laughs> understand what you're going through. Breathe. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not a Buddhist. You're a psychiatrist. Well, thanks, Doc, but no thanks. I'm fine. I don't need your help. No offense, Brad. But I can see why your boss and your girlfriend dumped you. Oh, now you really sound like a shrink. Why don't you hook me up with some happy pills? What do you say, Doc? I say, you're an asshole! Let's see whoever you are. I am Tony, your friend. But I'm gonna kill you, Tony. Oh, I guess I have to defend myself. Until the police get here. Huh. What are you trying to skin with the police? I know better. But, but we made a commotion. And someone's already called it in. What are you looking around for? Are you expecting someone? Maybe I don't want any witnesses. You, you can't help it, can you? What's my name? Do you ever get tired of asking questions? See, you don't know. Your brain isn't right yet, Brad. It, it, it's going to take time to calm down, a long time. Right now, you can't even remember my name. I don't need to remember your name, because tomorrow I can read it in your bits. Now, I'm going to pack my car right there, right now. Listen, I've been through this. I was in now. I don't care. Yeah, gotcha. don't, don't, don't do it, Brad. Don't do it. Oh, Think. I mean, that you go to prison. You're going to hell. Don't do it, Brad. Think. I'm not your enemy. Think. You think. Think about how easy it would have been to let me pack here. Think about how dumb it is to die for a packing space. I've seen men die for less, so of you. Don't go there. Look, I'm, I know what makes you this way. I've been there. It'll get better. The nightmares stop. The flashbacks. <laughs> Vets group. Choose, soldier. 